Good morning humans, this is Rusty78609 and I'm kind of out for a drive here again. And I'm headed to Fort Stanton and this is the road. I think we're about three miles away so I thought I'd show you the, the scenery on the way into the monument or the state park because uh, up here on the left is a BLM campground that you can camp at for free. It doesn't have any hookups. And then there's another one called Something Cave off to the left about four miles. You have to continue down Highway 380 for about four miles and you'll see a road to the right and that's another BLM campsite. And then, so there's several free campsites right around Capitan uh, near or going towards the Fort Stanton, okay? Having said that, now we'll enjoy the drive, fellow humans. And the campground's right up here on the left. I, can, I'll have to turn the video so you can see it. Let me turn the camera. It's off to the left there. I don't know if you can see those RVs parked there. But that's it. it, it this one is kind of improved. The other one uh, that you can go to is not quite as improved as this. This one has some covers. Uh, the one, the cave one, uh, and there's no water. This one has water here and has uh, toilets that you can use. The other one has, it has toilets there, but the, it's, they're locked. So, but anyway, that's it. So it's just, this is just, it's called Fort, uh, it's called the Fort Stanton Equestrian, Equestrian Trailhead, but it's also a campground. I hope I didn't screw up the video too bad. But anyway, on we go. Uh, here we go. Yeah, we're about uh, two miles now, maybe, to the side. The road's not too rough. And I would put my hand on it, but I get a cramp in my shoulder when I do that. But yeah, Fort Stanton, if you remember, was the fort uh, that involved uh, Billy the Kid and a couple of um, merchants from Lincoln, the little community of Lincoln. I did a video of that. And the war lasted about three years. I mean, they actually, it was pretty much a real battle between the two merchants and they both ended up dead so they really didn't gain a hell of a lot but Fort Stanton was a cavalry outpost out here and whoever got their business uh, could do really well and whoever didn't wouldn't do well at all so the merchants battled very hard and I'm sure there was a lot of bribery going on to do that to get that business but be that as it may it's a pretty drive and from here it, you, this is actually a back way to go to uh, Rodoso you can just follow this road on around it goes by the by a little airport and then you intersect highway 48 turn left and go right into Rodoso it's about I don't I'd say we're 15 miles from Rodoso so it's convenient but we're gonna do a driving video today of the Fort Stanton site and then uh, the next few days I may get back over here and then go in the museum and do another video about it. There's a little dry creek here. It's called Rio Bonito. And, uh, but I'm sure that in season, uh, in the, what they call the monsoons out here, that that would be flowing. Uh, we got some rain in the forecast for Sunday. The, apparently there's a little cool front coming in. But anyway, here we are at Fort Stanton. And uh, I'm going to go straight, and I think there's a loop you can make. You can just drive around. Uh, is this guy, is there somebody? Oh, that's, a, that's the post office on the right. <laughs> U.S. Post Office, Fort Stanton. But anyway, the, all these buildings you see now, all the white painted buildings. Let me turn the video to the right a little bit so you can see that. All these white painted buildings are the... Uh, fort the original buildings of the fort uh, they've used them for other things since then this was back in the 1860s but it was a big operation as you can see there are a lot a lot of uh, buildings here so i would i don't know i'm just going to guess they probably had 500 soldiers here you know, there may be a way to find out i don't know what it would be But yeah, they had a hospital here and the whole thing. So that old building there on the right, I'm not sure what it was. But we're just gonna do a drive through today. 
And then well, let me turn the deal to the left now because all the buildings don't seem to be on the left now. I hope that's reasonably straight, guys. I can't see on this side of the camera. All I see is a black screen. Because if there's any light at all, that screen is just not bright enough. But Fort Stanton, here we are, guys. You probably didn't think you'd be here today, but you are. This is Saturday, May the 19th, 2018. It's probably getting close to, oh, 10.45 a.m. Temperature right now is 77 degrees. Uh, it says no public access beyond that point, so I won't go that way. Yeah, we come back around to the main building here in a minute. It's got the adobe walls all around it. When I make this turn here to the left, you should be able to see it fairly good. They have some events here occasionally. Uh, you know, they have a reenactment. You know, they fire the cannon and do different things. I'm not sure what days, but whenever they do that, whenever they have an event, uh, if you're planning on staying at one of the campgrounds, you, you, you may be fooled because they do draw a crowd. A lot of people are into this old history of the forts and the cavalry and so forth. Uh, you know, everybody has a hobby, and I think some people, that is a hobby. But that's the museum there on the left, the museum building. No, wait a minute, is that right? No, I'm not there yet. Sorry, wrong. Oh, right up here. The white building there on the left, as you can see where the cars are parked in front there, that is the museum. And you can go in there. They've got a few little displays in there. And uh, out back of that building is the cannon. That's where they fire the cannon when they have their events and so anyway we have just about seen the original fort stanton now so uh yeah pretty area nice day perfectly clear get a lot of those in new mexico you know new mexico does get a lot of sunshine so if your skin is not good uh, with sunshine you have skin and light colored or whatever that is really burned by the sun if you ever come out here my recommendation is no matter what your skin type is, wear long sleeve shirts, a, a wide brimmed hat, and long lightweight pants in the summer. Now after that, even in the fall and winter, I would still keep my head covered and skin covered as much as possible. Why? Because uh, this skin, I mean this sun out here can be brutal. I'm going to turn the camera around and get it kind of squared away. There's an old cannon over here on the right, you can see, maybe not right, but maybe right in there. Uh, Fort Stanton was 1855 to 1896. I just saw the sign. So I'm sure I've got this camera about as screwed up as you can get it by now, right? Is that too, probably crooked, isn't it? Okay, well, anyway, that's enough of that. We're going to drive on here, and I'll let you uh, kind of see. I'll get this under there. That'll help a little bit. But I'll drive slow. Maybe it won't be too bouncy, but it is a scenic day. Up, and this is a pretty drive. I like this out here. This is not mountainous by any means. Just some rolling hills, but you can see the mountains in the background. And, of course, there's a lot. There's a, a target range over there, or shooting range off to my left there. Some people are there firing their pistols, probably police officers or sheriffs and stuff. But this is, this is Road 220 uh, off of Highway 380 that goes to Fort Stamp Stanton. And uh, it's a nice drive. It's a short drive from Capitan. From Capitan to the fort itself, I would say, is probably, oh, at the most, 10 miles or less. It's not very far not very far at all and yeah this is really a neat area if, if you're into old old history western u.s history because uh, there's a lot of things to see and i just like the flavor of the old buildings and stuff and that probably has a lot to do because i'm getting older uh, when i was younger i probably wouldn't have cared for it at all but now it's interesting to me to see how we used to live and find out a little bit about our history and 
just adds a little flavor to my life and also it gives me some nice outings you know what I mean rather than just sitting in my RV in the RV park uh, you know and staring out the bird out the window like a little bird in a nest you know get out and about you know unplug yourself and, and go for it you know and so that's what I do and I'll do that every day I've been looking for a place to park my RV other than the RV park and uh, add hookups and stuff and I, I'm working on it guys I'm working on it because I do like this area I mean it's it's really nice it is really nice I saw some people off to the left riding horses and I gotta tell you if you, if you don't know anything about horses and you go to a national park or somewhere or state park and they have horses you can ride to take little tours on well, you go for it if you want to. My, and even though those horses are so broke to that trail, you can let go of the reins and they'll just follow the parade. Uh, you know, that's fine. But just a horse is not comfortable, okay? A saddle is not comfortable. But this is all BLM, BLM land here. And you can just pretty much go out anywhere there's a road and uh, find you a campsite for free it's totally boondocking dry camping but it's free guy up there in a the car on the left you may not be able to see him in video but if you can he's sleeping in that car I, I drove in there earlier and i'm sure he's toasted by now my god he's got all the windows up and uh, yeah i walked by he's, he may be dead for all i know i mean but just, i didn't want to disturb him disturb him whether he was asleep or dead either one you know, don't wake the dead, okay? We get to the stop sign up here, I'll end the video, but now we've seen Fort Stanton, and we'll do other things. We'll take other trips, go different places as we can. You know, I'm not gonna be taking a lot of drives because gasoline's kind of reached that price point that I'm not too happy with. It, out here, it's 279 a gallon in Ruidoso, which is not horrible, but not exactly great either. But anyway, guys, from near Fort Stanton, New Mexico, fixing to turn left, go to, toward Carrizoto to Cariz Capitan. This is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. I appreciate it. Some of you are and some of you have, and I thank you a lot. Drink plenty of water, take deep breaths, stretch, walk, do all that stuff, stand guard at the door of your mind, keep your health, guys. So anyway, adios amigos from New Mexico.